Hey everyone, it's Emily Vogel from Rock Woman, and today I'm here with Carolina Barczyk, who stars as Brenda Lopez in Moonfall. Welcome, Carolina. How are you? Great. Thank you so much for having me. Well, okay, so first things first, can you give us some background to our audience who have, may have not seen the film yet? What is Moonfall all about? Okay, so uh, Moonfall is, wow, it's a, it's quite a joyride from the master of disaster himself, Roland Emmerich. Um, the story is about the moon gets mysteriously knocked out of its orbit and starts heading towards Earth. And um, pretty much chaos ensues. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> Wait, why do you think, I, one of the questions I always have is like, why do you think people love end of the world movies and shows so much? I feel like it's just such a hot topic. Do you know what? I think that when we are kids, we always like to scare ourselves like, there's a shark in the bathtub or there's crocodiles in the pool or don't touch the ground. It's lava. I think that human beings love to, we love to scare ourselves. And this is just the adult version yeah. um, because adults have money and can make movies. Now we get to scare ourselves again to say like, what would it be like if, you know, I got bit by a radioactive spider and I had powers and became a spider woman, man, or, uh, you know, what would it be like if the moon started heading towards Earth? Like, how would I deal with that? I think that's just in our human nature to always imagine, like, have, you know, these scenarios and imagine how we would react. Right. And so and now I want to talk more specifically about your character, Brenda. Can you tell us a little bit about her? Yes. So I play a role um, called Brenda Lopez. I play the ex-wife of Patrick Wilson, who is the lead of the film. He's kind of this like cowboy astronaut type who NASA enlists to help um, solve this silly moon problem. Um, and I am now married. I am now remarried to a character played by Michael Pena. And my relationship with Patrick Wilson's character is a bit tenuous. We have a son together who um is starting to go astray and essentially Brenda has to you like the the goal of the movie for her is to reunite these families find peace uh with these two families while also trying to survive all the like earthly chaos like the floods the fires the lack of gravity um the like societal breakdown so what attracted you to to the role in the first place because that's such an interesting character yeah I love sci-fi movies I love being in them and I love shooting them I always when I was a kid I remember anytime I went to see a play I'd always be like what's happening behind the curtain like what does it look like mm -hmm. I was always fascinated with the behind the scenes and especially with sci-fi films it is absolute like the most organized chaos you've ever seen. You know, I, I feel like, um, you know, there'd be moments where Roland Emmerich, the director would say, okay, so to your right, everyone, the moon is falling towards you. And we'd all have to be like, ah, <laughs> it's like, it's so fun to use your imagination and to um, imagine what this stuff would all look like and then see it come to reality. Um, and I thought that Brenda's character I thought it was so layered. She's got these like really torn feelings um, towards her oldest son, who's giving her such a hard time. She obviously loves more than anything. And then she has this new beautiful family and she's trying to like bring them together. She is the glue that holds this family together. Meanwhile, you know, there's absolute, you know, chaos taking place on earth. Cool. What do you think the most challenging part of stepping into that role was? Um, what I find challenging about being an actor in general is the amount of mystery behind, um, shooting. Like you, especially during the pandemic, we did not have a chance to sit down with Roland and speak with him about how he envisioned this to be. Usually you get to, you get introduced to all the actors. Um, and so you start just having that a relationship and vibe with them and getting a sense of who they are and how they might play the character, because of the, we shot like before we even had um, before we had the immunizations, like it was we didn't get to have any of that. So the first moment I met Halle Berry was when we were shooting the scene. You know, the first moment I met Patrick Wilson was moments before we were shooting the scene. So it was um, it was very challenging to try and find that dynamic as quickly as possible. 
Wow. That's super, that's like, I've, from, I've talked to obviously a bunch of people who have filmed during the pandemic, but I haven't heard, you know, people just, you know, that for meeting for that first time on when you're shooting the film, that's crazy. Do you, is there any other crazy things that were happening on set? Any, you know, some of the, any crazy stories or, or, you know, hardest parts to film any hard scenes? Yeah, it was, it was funny. Cause I actually ended up meeting Patrick Wilson in the makeup trailer as I was getting my makeup and he kind of came in and was like, you know, he's so busy, he's doing something. And I kind of did like a, hi, I'm, <laughs> I'm playing your ex-wife who you hate. Um, <laughs> but he came over with like open arms being like, wifey, oh my God. And it was so friendly. And, and so we did actually have a moment to, to meet. Um, and then with, uh, with Halle Berry, like we were all covered in PPE. So I didn't realize that I was standing right next to her because I couldn't see who was who. And then finally, when Roland was like, all right, let's go like action. Uh, we had this scene where she runs out of a helicopter and I swear to God, it like all became slow motion for me. I was like, Halle Berry is running towards me and she's saying something to me. Why is she saying something? And I'm like, oh my God, I have to like, I have a line, I have to respond. I like almost felt myself like take a step back because her presence is just, it's so intense and she's so, I've been such a huge Halle Berry fan for so long. She's so magnanimous and uh, intense and, and everything that she does. So yeah, I really had to get it on the second take, you know? Oh my God. Yeah, that's crazy. I, I feel like it's really cool because there's, I feel like so many like badass women in this film beyond that. Like, what was it like working with like, you know, ha Halle Berry, like Oscar winner? What, what else happened? Like, did you learn anything? What was that experience like? You know what? It was all, as soon as we we would yell cut, we would all get whisked away and we all had these kind of little like telephone booths that we had to sit in. So I didn't, we barely even had a chance to talk really, but every right. time we like shot the scene, every time she looked at me, I swear to God, she could like knock me off my feet with her with like a single glance. She's so powerful. <gasps> That's amazing. Um, so one final question. Um, so much of our audience are young people looking to break into the industry. Is there any advice that you have for them? Yeah, I would say um, having grit, I think, is the most important thing you can have if you want to get into this industry. It's a hard industry. A lot of people want to get into it. So there's a lot of competition. For me, um, I think the biggest thing that has worked for me is to never give up, like have that tenacity. I remember I, I got this really cool part in one of the X-Men movies, which was a great part. And I was like, this is it. I'm going to be huge. I didn't work for a year after I did 50 auditions, 60 auditions. I just wasn't booking parts. It is what it is. It's a tough industry. If you are truly, truly committed, you just need to keep going, have that tenacity, make sure you're always getting better, make sure you know everything you can about the industry and just hang in there because at one point you will get lucky and luck is a big part of this industry. You will get lucky and make sure your talent is ready for that moment. Amazing. And well, what's next for Carolina? What, what are you working on? Where can you, where can we see you next? So I just finished shooting um, a really cool series called Painkiller that will be on Netflix coming out in 2022. Um, that series is about, it's based on the book by Barry Meyer, the New York Times bestseller, um, Painkiller, same name, um, about the opioid crisis in America. I think it's going to be a fascinating show. I think it's going to be terrifying, um, exciting, dramatic, funny. I think it's going to have it all and I cannot wait for everyone to see it. I'm excited for that. Lately, I feel like there's been so many um, shows about the op opioid crisis or just like the world of pharma. And I, that's one of my new favorite genres because I'm learning so much about it. And I'm so I'm really excited for, th for that one as well. Yeah. And I think we're so, I think we all are still learning about it. I think um, the Sackler family figured out how to hide a lot. Mm -hmm. And I think we're slowly starting to peel back the layers and we're seeing what systemic uh what systemic changes need to happen in order to make sure that this kind of thing doesn't happen again. It's so that's what I love about Hollywood is this ability for storytelling, because I wouldn't have like, I felt bad that I didn't even know about all of this background in the Sackler family and all of these things until I recently watched dope sick, you know, and now yeah. I'm like fascinated and I want to learn more because I'm so shocked and I probably wouldn't have 
unfortunately learned more otherwise unless you know I was what you know it was on a streaming platform that I could watch so I'm, I'm really excited to learn more and, and tune into that as well on Netflix yeah we have to congratulate those journalists who against all odds were able to get this material because the Sacklers did everything that they could they used the government they used the law they used very sneaky ways to make sure that information wouldn't get out so those journalists really deserve all the credit on these on these films Yes. Well, I'm really excited. I'm, I'm so honored for like thankful for them. And I'm excited that they mm -hmm. were able to share it with us. And yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Well, thank you so much, Carolina, and to all of our Rap Women audiences tuning in. Uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.